As the world's most populous nation, China's demand for electricity is unrivaled globally. Stable power supply is essential for supporting the lives of over 1.4 billion citizens and maintaining China's rapid economic growth. While relying heavily on coal, China is also aggressively developing alternative energy sources like solar, wind, and hydroelectric power. The country's latest groundbreaking project, constructing an undersea tidal power plant, represents an engine engineering feat astonishing the world. If successful, it will cement China's position as a renewable energy leader. China's enormous population and swift industrialization require energy on a massive scale. The country imports more oil and natural gas than any other. In 2021, China accounted for over 15% of global energy demand. Its net imports of crude oil totaled a record 542 million metric tons. The nation also buys over 35% of globally traded liquefied natural gas. Stable electricity supply is absolutely vital for China's factories, homes, and public infrastructure. Blackouts or shortages would severely disrupt daily life and business operations. Yet over-reliance on fossil fuels like coal comes with heavy environmental costs. China burns over half the world's coal each year, causing chronic air pollution. The leadership recognizes the need for cleaner energy, both for climate reasons and public health. Renewable sources are also domestically produced, enhancing energy security. With the largest power system on Earth, even small percentages of alternative energy contribution amount to staggering total. Tidal power utilizes the natural rise and fall of the ocean's tides to generate renewable electricity. Tides are driven by the gravitational forces exerted on Earth by both the moon and sun. The moon has a stronger influence due to proximity. Its gravitational pull causes ocean water bulges on the side of Earth closest to the moon, resulting in high tides. On the opposite side facing away, tides are low since the moon's pull is weaker. As the Earth rotates, different locations enter the alignment needed for tidal bulges. This results in cyclic high and low tides that are very predictable. The difference in sea level between high and low tide creates kinetic energy that can be harnessed. Tidal power stations use dams, barrages, or other means to trap water during high tides in reservoirs. At low tide, this water is released through turbines, spinning them to produce electricity. Advanced tidal farms can utilize tidal currents directly with submerged turbines. As the four to six knot currents flow by due to tide differences, they push rotors to generate power without needing reservoirs. However, such flows only occur in narrow straits connecting enclosed bays or oceans. China's undersea plant aims to utilize weaker open ocean tidal currents that were not viable before. The concept of harnessing tidal energy has existed for over 900 years, with the earliest known tidal mill built in England in 1035 AD. Commercial efforts began in the 20th century. France constructed the landmark Lorentz Tidal Station in 1966, which remained the largest in the world for decades. At 240 megawatts, it supplied over 500 million kilowatt hours of power annually. Canada and China were the next countries to invest substantially in the 1970s and 1980s. The 20 megawatt Annapolis Royal Generating Station opened in Nova Scotia in 1984, and operated until 2022. China's Jiangxia Tidal Power Station became Asia's largest when completed in 1980. It still serves as an important milestone for the nation. In 2009, South Korea took the global lead by launching the 254 megawatt Siwa Lake plant, overtaking the Rant Station. Within China, the Jiangxia pilot project spawned greater expansion in the 2000s. However, development stalled in the 2010s, both globally and in China, due to high costs. But China is now reviving interest and in aiming to re-establish dominance with the undersea concept. Few nations have tidal power capacities exceeding 100 to 200 megawatts. World total tidal generation remains under 20 terawatt hours annually, a mere fraction of hydro or wind energy output. But revolutionary projects like China's may enable tidal energy to finally fulfill its long untapped global potential. 
While China already possessed major tidal energy infrastructure, almost all of it followed conventional design principles. Dams and barrages are built across inlets to form tidal reservoirs. Sluice gates control water flowing back to the sea through turbines. This limits potential sites to narrow straits with amplified tides. China's latest undersea project completely reimagines tidal power engineering. The planned 100-megawatt plant will be located over 20 miles offshore on Zhushan Island, near Shanghai. Its turbines will sit fully submerged over 150 feet below the seafloor. Their massive rotors, over 150 feet in diameter, will freely spin as currents pass through them. Specialized marine construction vessels will transport and install each 3,000-ton unit. Underwater transmission cables will convey the electricity back to land. Operation and maintenance will be challenging due to the depths involved, but minimal surface structures mean no interference interference with shipping lanes or typhoon vulnerability. China currently lags behind leaders in offshore wind power like the UK and Germany. But success here would firmly establish China as the global leader in ocean energy utilization. The undersea plant represents a watershed moment for tidal technology and will unlock the untapped potential of China's over 11,000 miles of coastline. Its revolutionary concept of seabed tidal farms could remake the blue energy sector worldwide. China's undersea tidal plant has important advantages over conventional designs confined to bays and inlets. By being fully submerged, it avoids occupying valuable and congested sea surface area. Shipping traffic can continue unimpaired above the turbines. There is also no superstructure exposed to storm damage. The greatest benefit is access to vastly larger energy potential. Weaker open ocean tidal currents of just one to two knots still contain substantial power across vast areas. Anchoring turbines directly on the seabed can tap this diffuse energy. China's coastline stretches over 11,000 miles, offering huge spaces for potential expansion. While deep water installation and maintenance are challenging, costs may be reduced by mass producing simple and robust turbine modules. These could be rapidly deployed to form gigawatt scale arrays. Drifting sediment that could clog turbines may be less prevalent far offshore. The optionality of siting enables avoiding marine sanctuaries and sensitive ecosystems near shore. If successful, China's innovations could make tidal energy affordable and globally scalable for the first time. The nation has already proven its capabilities in manufacturing, high-volume infrastructure construction, and advanced marine engineering. This project leverages those competitive advantages in a sector where China has lagged other nations before. China's announcement of the unprecedented underwater tidal plant stunned experts worldwide. Some analysts expressed skepticism that such an ambitious underwater facility could operate viably. Japan's scientists conveyed amazement and envy, given the project's cutting-edge innovation. Japan faces acute energy challenges of its own. The 2011 Fukushima disaster shuttered its nuclear power industry. Renewables have not been able to fill the gap, forcing increased imports of coal and natural gas. The island nation has also appropriated nearly all suitable rivers for hydroelectricity. Ocean power offers perhaps the greatest untapped domestic energy source. Tidal currents along Japan's convoluted coast and between islands are among the strongest worldwide, but political opposition has stalled development. China's ability to pursue such innovative engineering reflects its governance capacity. Japan's bureaucratic reluctance has hindered its leadership in marine energy technology. If successful, China's undersea plant would establish clear dominance in next-generation tidal power systems. Japan recognizes China's rapid progress across many high-tech fields, but leading such an iconic project in renewable energy would be an immense source of national pride. Some experts expressed hope that the difficulties of implementing such an unprecedented facility might derail the project, but most concede that China's engineering prowess should not be underestimated. China's undersea tidal plant faces daunting challenges. Constructing and maintaining turbines 260 feet underwater requires specialized equipment and personnel. Repairing or replacing units will be complex and likely require remotely operated underwater vehicles. The pitch motors allowing rotor orientation must withstand eight hours of bi-directional tidal flows daily. 
Corrosion and biofouling from organisms like barnacles are constant threats. The dynamic marine environment makes sealing components difficult. While being located offshore reduces sediment, turbulence may still fatigue components prematurely. Cables stretched across miles of seabed are also vulnerable. These factors may make undersea tidal generation more expensive than alternatives like offshore wind power. But expenses should fall as experience and scale increase. China aims to develop simpler, standardized modular turbines that can be mass-produced and rapidly deployed. Smaller 1 to 2 megawatt units could also allow more distributed layouts that better capture regional currents. China expects the first 100 megawatt phase to be a proving ground. Knowledge gained will enable improving reliability and lowering costs for future expansions. Tidal technology is still in its infancy worldwide, with enormous room for advancement. China is investing heavily to position itself as the leader rather than the follower in this burgeoning renewable energy field. China's undersea power plant represents a monumental advance in tidal energy technology. Few nations possess the expertise and resources needed to attempt such a feat of engineering. If successful, China will solidify itself as the global leader in ocean power generation. The project demonstrates the country's relentless pursuit of scientific progress and energy security. This innovative spirit will serve China well as it continues to develop into an advanced nation. Let us know your thoughts on the Chinese power plant construction in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell for more engineering wonders.